Hello everyone. This video is regarding our KDD 2020 submission around the theme of Chatter Intensity Prediction. For online platforms, Chatter Intensity determines the extent of user engagement for a given post. Existing frameworks usually observe this discourse for a considerable period of time before they start making predictions. This does not sound useful for the real world. Imagine a tweet containing some fake news. You would want to curb the user engagement around this fake news as early as possible and not as an afterthought. Thus, zero-shot learning becomes critical for the case of chatter intensity prediction. While it is well known that the discourse happening on a platform is underpinned by the events happening outside the platform, very few information propagation models actually capture this external influence. Motivated by existing research, we went on to determine the total number of comments that a post on Reddit can receive. It should be noted that the underlying user network of who follows whom on Reddit is not known. In absence of such critical information, we rely solely upon the influence of the external as well as internal events to drive the chatter. For our model, the chatternet, news articles and Reddit submissions act as a source of external and internal events respectively. Now, at the time of arrival of a post whose chatter we want to predict, the model aggregates the exogenous and endogenous signals up up to that point. This unified influence is then passed on to a time evolving convolution block that estimates the chatter. Interestingly, we found that chatternet's performance at zero shot is as effective as that of existing models with one hour of observation window. Pretty cool, huh? It seems that even in absence of the underlying user network, a combination of the exogenous and endogenous signals act as the latent influence for an incoming post. This helps the model overcome the cold start problem of zero-shot learning. Intrigued to know more? The details of our framework are available at this GitHub link. For more interesting research, you can also follow us on Twitter. Thank you.